Pohl's EvoLink 140 might just be the longest production bike on sale today. While we're constantly hearing about bikes getting longer, lower and slacker, the reality is rarely radical, with two notable exceptions. And these are Mojo's Nikolai built Geometron and the Pole that you see here. Pole is a Finnish brand and its range of bikes includes everything from hardtails to full-on downhill rigs. The EvoLink 140.29 is its 29er trail bike and it boasts a gigantic 1300 mm wheelbase. If you're worried about trying to fit such a behemoth into your house or car, fear not. The pole has a clever trick up its sleeve. By removing the front wheel and a shock bolt, the swing arm folds under the down tube and it will conveniently tuck into the cupboard under the stairs. The rest of the geometry on the pole is just as extreme as that wheelbase measurement. With a raked out 64.5 degree head angle, steep 75.5 degree seat angle and huge 456 mil chainstays. Four sizes are available from extra small up to the large you see here and it gets 140 mil of rear wheel travel coupled with 150 mil travel fork up front. Pole's EvoLink suspension system uses a twin link design. It's tuned to work with an air shock and Pole recommends you set it up with plenty of sag. It gives a pretty linear feel and although the EvoLink doesn't bottom out harshly, we definitely got the impression we were regularly using all of the travel. This produced great traction on our Alpine test trail and when combined with that vast wheelbase and slack head angle, the Pole boasted supreme stability and inspired huge confidence. Now you're probably thinking the flip side of this composure is that it just doesn't go around corners. Wrong. The EvoLink is actually surprisingly agile, even with the narrow bars fitted to our test bike. The steering was a bit quirky on entry into corners, but this could be partly due to the longer offset on the MRP fork. And once we committed our lean angle, we could completely trust the grip levels. Even if the bike got out of shape, we had loads of time to correct it thanks to the massive wheelbase. Flicking between turns was also surprisingly easy once we got our timing right. Downsides? Well, getting the front wheel off the ground is not easy. You have to adapt your technique, plan ahead and use more effort to get the bike to manual. Also, the suspension isn't super active under braking and it's not exactly light at over 14 kilos. But don't let these issues put you off because the Pole EvoLink offers something almost non-existent in the market. It gives a genuinely progressive geometry along with sizing that means it will actually fit riders over six foot. And we think more manufacturers need to take note of what companies like Pole and Mojo are doing, particularly when it comes to building bikes for taller riders.